know what you mean. I ate my mother at birth. But in moments of great success, I regret it. That's a thing for your species? No, just a me thing. Everyone was shocked. <laughs> Pixar's newest adventure is Elio, an original sci-fi story following a young boy named, well, you know. Elio is an underdog with an active imagination who finds himself inadvertently beamed up to the Communiverse, an interplanetary organization with representatives from galaxies far and wide, mistakenly identified as Earth's ambassador to the rest of the universe, and completely unprepared for that kind of pressure. Elio must form new bonds with eccentric alien lifeforms, survive a series of formidable trials, and somehow discover who he is truly meant to be. While the teaser doesn't reveal much, we do get a sense of the general vibe. Even before the main action goes down, I'm really digging the color design. The shiny texture of the rocks, the light blue particles of the waves, and this glow. It's so pretty. Leaving Earth is when things get out of this world, featuring exotic cutes that don't exist anywhere else, and a city that follows zero rules of reality. Now one of the highlights of Elio's teaser is when we dive right into the lion's den. Every one of these species is probably from a different planet, so each one looks vastly different from the rest. The character designs here are incredibly creative, from a bug boy, to a mechanical madman, to whatever's going on here. I don't even know what to say. Every creature's look is a wild mishmash of ideas, but in a good way. As an overall movie, Elio looks interesting, but there's one piece of criticism criticism going around online, the animation. More specifically, playing it too safe. We live in a time where studios are finally coming forward and changing the game, evolving on what came before, and giving audiences something new. Meanwhile, the last few Pixar projects have generally been following a similar path. You may recognize it from what fans call the bean mouth character designs, especially when we're talking about turning red into Luca. In fact, Elio is already drawing so many comparisons to Luca because it looks like the kid is being lifted straight from the setting of that movie. So as the medium of animation moves forward, Pixar isn't evolving in the same way. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but audiences are starting to notice and are getting tired of the formula. Even if Elio doesn't really stand out in its style though, there are still some fun ideas thrown in here. The main character feels charming. The alien setting means anything can happen. And hey, we should still appreciate this is a fully original idea. You don't see that every day. Anyway, Elio hits theaters early 2024 if you feel like giving it a watch. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.